What you're hearing is not the sound of a typical piston engine, but a very strange type of engine known as a rotary engine. Instead of having standard pistons, this engine has what is known as a rotor. Before we get into how this odd engine works, let's discuss its history. The rotary internal combustion engine was invented by German engineer Felix Wankel, for whom it gets its name, the Wankel engine, in 1954 and was first successfully tested in 1957. It only took about six years before the Wankel engine was used in the car. At the 1963 German International Automobile Exhibition, the NSU exhibited the 1963 Prinz as the first passenger car to use a Wankel rotary engine. The engine was put into production in 1964 with the NSU Wankel Spider. Mazda introduced their first Wankel powered car in 1967, the Cosmo 110S. The most common cars you'll find on the road today with Wankel rotary engines are the Mazda RX-7 and RX-8, very popular amongst import car enthusiasts. Now, let's get on with how these engines work. I built this simple model out of Lego, based on Akiyuki Brick Channel's design, to help explain. This is the stator, also known as a rotor. The stator is the piston of this engine. The stator is what receives the power of the engine. The stator has two different gears, the pinion gear and the crown gear. The crown gear is attached to the inside of the stator, and the pinion gear is fixed in place, meshing with the crown gear. The stator is attached to what is known as an eccentric shaft, which is slightly offset. It's the combination of the two gears and the eccentric shaft that gives the rotary engine its odd movement. All of this is held inside the stator housing, which is the cylinder of the engine. The stator housing has two ports, the intake port and the exhaust port. The stator is shaped in a way that gives the engine four chambers. Intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust. Once the intake port is open, the volume of the intake chamber increases, pulling the air fuel mixture in. Then, the intake port is blocked by the stator and the mixture is contained in the compression chamber. As the stator moves around, the volume in the compression chamber decreases, compressing the mixture. At just the right time, the spark plugs fire and the expanding gases force the stator around. Then the exhaust port is opened and the gases are pushed out. All of this is happening simultaneously. But how is the engine sealed? On the three edges of the stator, there are parts called apex seals that are always in contact with the stator housing, sealing the engine. Due to the limitations of LEGO, there are some noticeable gaps between the stator and the stator housing on my model. This does not happen with the real engine. Also, why are there two spark plugs? The combustion chamber is too long, and the flames would spread too slowly with just one spark plug. The second spark plug gives the mixture a little kick to expand faster. To increase power and keep the engine running smoothly, some Wankel engines will have more than one rotor. This one, built by Tyson Garvin, has an astounding 12 rotors. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And why don't you check out this video by Akiyuki Brick Channel. I got a lot of the designs from this video. It's really cool. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.